My name is Mike Kramer. Uh, I pastor Salem Grace Nazarene, and we're part of Youth Invasion 2013. Basically what it is is we have over 100 kids out in the community uh, ministering, uh, helping people out, building decks, fixing roofs, raking leaves, and uh, just doing our best to help uh, our community out. So, you have youths and adults. We do. We have around 30, 30 some odd adults that are organizing all of this and getting things set up and just really helping these kids out. So they're uh, they're working hard this week. Is this your first invasion? This is my first invasion. They definitely. don't do this at your other churches around that you've been to. Well, or? not quite like this. Not not as organized and as big as something like this. Yeah. Have you heard of anything as big or? organized as this? Well, no. In fact, when I got here, that was one of the things that everybody was talking about, how big Youth Invasion was. And so, now to be here and experience it, it's pretty incredible. In what way? Well, it's, you get this many kids who have paid to help people out. You just, I've never seen anything like it. This many teenagers who are out ministering to people like Jesus would. And uh, on hot days like this, they're paying to do it. And uh, they pay. Yeah. Now, now, what would Jesus do? Is the favorite? Does he? Did he pay? Well, did yeah. he have to pay? Man, yeah, he paid a whole <laughs> lot. Uh, he paid a whole lot. And yeah. So yeah, these these kids are living out Jesus to this community, which is pretty exciting. I uh, forty, fifty bucks, so you can buy the material supplies. Yeah, like material that. supplies, food. Um, water. Yeah, they're handing out water all over the community. When they see somebody <laughs> raking their yard, they'll jump out and uh, offer to mow their yard and they'll hand them a bottle of water. So they paid for all of it. Am I right about the dollar, 40 or 50 bucks or something like that? I actually, I believe so. I'm not okay, sure I, on that. Yeah. I, I always double check my memory because. Yeah, I'm not even sure what they paid for. I got one wrong today. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I'll never admit it. That's right. Okay, now, do you have talents with the, with the hammer? The saws and uh, no that's why they gave me a video camera and told me to go film it and put a video together so I can, I can put a good video together of all of this now um, mr. Donahoe there is in there working hard lifting pounding hammering and he made a discovery uh, this year anyway that it's sometimes better to put these porches together back at the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got the smarts enough to see what they need, put it all together at the church, build it, and then bring it out here and fit it right in. Now, is this so. going to be a porch or a porch and ramp? Uh, this one, I'm not even sure. I believe it's. I believe this one might be just a porch, but I'm not sure on hey, that. Randy, is this a porch or a porch and ramp? Porch. Do what now? This is a porch and a, or a porch and ramp. No ramp. Steps. Steps, okay. Yeah. A landing for them to come out, so this one's going to be three and a half by five, and then they're going to step to follow the side of the trailer. And you've also been putting together ramps and doing roofs in the, la in, in the last day or two? Yes, sir. Big projects? Yes, sir. Now, one thing I'd forgotten was these kids pay to work with you. Yes, they do. Uh, is that 40 or 50 bucks or so? Well, it ought to be more. I get everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're a pretty awesome bunch of kids, uh -huh. and I, this group that I got, I, I kind of had my pick this year on, actually, the, I've got some real good boys on my team, and I had to split them up because they were all a little bit envious and jealous of it, so some of the other team captains said they wanted to bust my team apart, but that second year for Jake Guy and... Uh, down on the end? Yeah, down there on the end. And I got a couple more boys too, Caleb Willman, and he's had to work today, but he's a three-year-old, three-year man with me. Um, most of them spend three years with me, and I don't have to worry about them. I actually I turned them loose this year and sat down and watched them work. And you, you learned something new to work at the church when you can? And how does that working at that church when I can? Uh, I'm making up for lost time. <laughs> Should I ask? I've always put my job and everything else ahead of Christ. Now Christ is first in my life. There's no other way to work it, all right? So I've got a lot of ground to make up. One of the things you do at the church is put the porches together, put the steps together, and that's a, sort of a nice discovery for your group. Some of these young men have never picked up a saw in their life. Others know what they're doing. And they all get a chance to get their hands in there and hands on. And we try to make safety our number one priority when we're.
we're doing all this but also I'm here it's about them it's not about me it's not about us it's not about even about the church it's about the young man doing the work here and they're doing missionary work and helping this community that's what it's all about have you seen some of the benefits of that have, have people gone to the church or gone to Christ or yes you know of? Yes. Um, now, by working at the church, what I was getting to was the mechanics of it for other churches around that might like to think of this. You've done the measuring, you've done the sawing and the stuff, mostly all at the church, and now all you got to do is put it together. Yes. It's like Habitat for Humanity. We had, we had the blueprints. Let's just say it was blueprinted and grew up, and then I come out here, and it's all written down, and they take a measuring tape, and they start measuring it out, and then they start putting the puzzle together. And I must say, I was really impressed with you a little while ago. Yeah. When, when you were d doing the fastener, it came loose, and there was a long moment of silence. Long moment of silence, and then you just went on with the work. That happened. I'm re really impressed with that because I would have cut loose, maybe. All right. Um, anything that you've noticed that the kids have learned now over the last two or three years they didn't know before. I've seen these young men and women all come together as a group being disciples for Christ. And I've seen them jump out of vehicles and run and hand waters to different people because they're working along the roadway ditch or whatever. It's city workers or whatever, it doesn't matter, or someone out mowing their yard or pedaling a bicycle down the road or someone in a wheelchair or the mailman coming by. They'll grab a water and greet the guy with a big grin on their face or the, or the lady and God loves them. You know? And that's what it's all about. And most of these waters we pass out have got little scriptures on them too. Well, on the, any other thoughts you want to make sure we, we get in? I would love to see every church in Salem and the community of Salem and the surrounding communities get involved in this. This is not a denominational thing. This is all about coming together and doing Christ's work. Being followers of Jesus. What would he do if he was down there, you know? It wasn't about, it's not about denomination. And I know that there's one church out there by us is getting ready to do one here coming up next month, which is pretty awesome. So, and, uh, the word is. In fact, one of the members called me today and talked about a job on uh, on Bennett Street, and they're they're going to hit it with a whole church, not just their team. The whole church is going to go out and do it. That's pretty awesome. It's spreading. It's, I hope it's it spreading. catches fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any last thoughts? No, he covered it there. That was good. I like the idea of community. You know, if we all could pull together, tear down the denomination walls, and uh, invade this community for Christ, I think we'd get a lot of great things accomplished. On the scene, south of Odin, I'm John Scattergood for the Times Commoner Television News.